so we're gonna do a float, which is basically, this horse is maintained yearly on his teeth floating, so it, we're basically gonna just take the sharp edges off. Um, on the top teeth, it grows sharp on the outside, and on the bottom teeth, it grows sharp on the inside. And then when I'm done with all of that, I check their incisors and make sure they have good range of motion. Um, she's putting the speculum on right now, and he's already been sedated, so. I usually rinse the feed stuff out of their mouth, um, and then I go to floating. So we're gonna get all of that going and then we'll start. This is a dental halter. It keeps their head up so that my techs don't have to work quite as hard. Out in the field, I don't have this a lot of the time. So he's due for a float, but since he's been kept up really well, it's not gonna take a whole lot compared to some that I that haven't been done in a while. Oops. This is our power float. It's what we use to grind the sides of the teeth down. on the front on the top so I just had to grind those down. Oral health is really important for the horses overall health especially once they get older so we definitely recommend getting their teeth checked every year if not every six months and getting them floated as soon as they need to be done so it helps them keep weight on and keeps helps them get all the nutrients from their food. So and then I just check the incisors make sure he has good range of motion which he does. Make sure there's not a lot of tartar or anything, and he's good. So that's how we do a float.